Welcome to Shell Sugar Rush. Glad to see you back with me. Today we're going to be making chocolate covered Oreos using the best method I have found. So let's get started. Okay, so what you'll need to make the chocolate covered Oreos is obviously Oreos. And I like to use the regular Oreos. Um, the double stuff are a little too thick for the molds I found. Um, I have my plastic mold. It's just a round cookie mold. And uh, Ghirardelli white chocolate. This is just my preferred chocolate. Um, you know, many people use different ones, but I find this one as far as taste and, and uh, smoothness it is great. Now, I also um, keep on hand some Easy Thin, just a thinning aid. Uh, it's oil flakes, basically just a thinning aid for your chocolate in case you need it a little bit smoother uh, and a little bit runnier uh, for your dipping. Now, of course, uh, I use a piping bag for my chocolate. And over here, I have a little bit of another color in a piping bag just for some decoration later. Okay. So we've got our chocolate all melted to the right consistency. Now, I usually will put it in a glass dish just because it holds heat better this way. Um, now, you'll want to melt your chocolates on 30 second intervals at 50% power, okay, until you get it to that consistency. Now, that's usually going to take about two minutes, okay. Now, I like to put my piping bag over a glass just to help maintain it while I pour this in. Um, it's a little more difficult when you try to put it over your hand and pour it in. Uh, trust me, I know from experience. Okay, so we're just going to get all this in here. All right, we want to make sure we get it all so none goes to waste. And if you don't have piping bags, you certainly can use just uh, the measuring cup with a spout to fill your molds as well. But um, I just find that I make less of a mess with a piping bag and uh, less waste for me. Okay, so you'll want to wrap that end up real good so that it doesn't kind of slide backwards on you. And I'm gonna cut just a little snip in the tip of the bag. See if we've got it big enough. You don't want it too big because you don't want to, um, you don't want your chocolate to come out too quick. So that's about right. I'm just gonna fill up the bottom of each of our cavities in our mold. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze the top of that just so that our chocolate doesn't run out. And we wanna level it out. Okay, and we wanna drop an Oreo right in the middle, in the middle of each cavity. Try to get it as center as you can, okay? I'm just gonna push it down just a little, but of course you don't wanna push it too hard because you don't want your Oreo to show through on the other side, okay? Now, We'll fill in the rest. I like to make sure the edges get filled in first, just so we don't have any cracks in the edges. And doing it this way is just gonna give you a nice, nice even coating all around your Oreo. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda go back and add a little bit where I feel like it needs a little bit more. And I'm just going to tap that. We want to make sure we bring any air bubbles to the top. And if you see that you have air bubbles on the top, you can take a toothpick. Well, that one just kind of popped this out. But you can always take a toothpick and just go through and pop your bubbles. All right, that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna sit it in the freezer for about five to seven minutes until our chocolate has set. Okay, so our Oreos are set and ready. Um, they were in the freezer uh, about eight minutes and you'll see if they're set and ready, you see they kind of, it's hard to see this probably in the camera, but you can actually see them pulling away when you push on it. You can see them pull away from the plastic and then they're just going to snap right out, okay? And we'll go ahead and get them all, yeah, see? If they're set well and the time is right, then you'll know because they will push 
and snap it right out very easily. Sometimes too easy. And that one and one more. Okay, so we are done with the mold and you can see, look, beautiful, smooth texture, shiny color, um, just very, very nice shape we got on our molds, okay, uh, from our molds. Very nice shape. Now, we're going to put a little decoration on them, okay, and spread them out just a little bit here, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to do a simple drizzle for you so you can kind of see one of the things you can do with this, and I just have some yellow chocolate that um, I have warmed up here. So we're going to do a little drizzle, let's see here, well, once I cut the end of it, we will. <laughs> and you want this to be fairly small just because you're going to do drizzle, so you don't want to, you don't want to overdo it. So we'll kind of test this and see oh, a little bit more. All right, All right that should be good. So we're going to kind of start here, let it drop, and then there we go. Okay. Nice. See? Beautiful. And, you know, you can use whatever color you want. I'm just kind of doing these for um, a little decoration. Um, just a little simple decoration. You can put sprinkles on. Uh, you can use fondant or chocolate decor on them as well. Um, just This is just a more simple design. Okay, so you see uh, how simple this is to do. Uh, nice to take. Um, makes a great addition to any party table for a uh, dinner, for a dinner treat, after dinner treat, which is where these are going to be going tomorrow. Um, like I said, really simple. Uh, easy to make so I hope you all try this at home I uh, hope this video was helpful for you um, if you enjoyed it please like comment subscribe um, and of course hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future thank you for joining me